Hello my spider friends. Today we're going to be doing a review of Mariah Elizabeth's merch. Now I need to preface this saying that Mariah Elizabeth, who's a YouTuber who does craft and art videos, I'm a huge fan of hers, obviously because of the amount of merchandise of hers that I actually have. But one thing is that, like, I think her merch is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, like, whether or not that's justified in how much it costs to make, I'm not sure. However, um, yeah, I just want to say, like, for, like, first off, I'm a really, really big fan of hers. I've been watching her videos for years. I'm clearly not the target audience. A lady who's in, like, her 30s. Um... You know, clearly it is intended for, like, a little bit of a younger audience. Like, maybe, like, teenagers, early twenties, Like, more, more of Mariah Elizabeth's age. Um, but I love her videos. I love her, like, craft stuff and squishy makeovers. So I want to support her channel by, like, getting merch. And so, obviously, we're going to start with this which is one of her t-shirts. This is from tea, her Teespring. She's got three stars. It's very confusing. Um, and I, I, I mentioned this because I don't think I'm the target audience and I find it a little bit confusing with the, the number of stars that she has because she's got her Teespring store, her me dash merch uh, Shopify store, and then her Mariah Elizabeth merch store so she's actually got three merch stores and this is from the teespring now this is actually my favorite of her shirts that i have i've got this i have one with the georgie character on it the pineapple duck and i've got one with um the ice cream cotton candy cats and the peanut butter and jelly hamsters so i've got like a few of them average price is about twenty dollars now this one is great my um i don't know where it is <laughs> it's, in, it's in a laundry belt somewhere but the peanut and jelly hamsters one is not printed so well like the colors are quite off um now i had it printed on a on a black t-shirt and you can you can choose sort of a color with Spring that you want you can have like the, the shirts printed on pretty much whatever colour you want. So I don't know if the design looks better on a particular colour. But that's a an issue for when I eventually find where that t-shirt is. <laughs> but this one, I, I love it. I love these characters and it's really, really cute. And what I really like about her characters is that whenever I wear something of hers, my mum's like, oh... Oh, that's nice. I like that. It's an ice cream cone, but it's cats. Oh, it's little hamsters. And I don't know why they look so strange, but they look very cute. Like, my mum really likes the the aesthetic of Mariah Elizabeth's merch. So, um, I like the T-shirts. Um, it's a little more than I would pay for a standard T-shirt. Once you factor in, like, shipping as well, like, I mean, it's fine if you live in the US, but if you're like me and you live in the Europe, then you're also looking at, like, customs fees and charges, which are always, always fun. So you've got to factor in that customs charge to the cost of the merchandise, unless, like, it's going to start shipping from a place where you're not going to get those customs charges. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so that's something to consider, but, um, overall, I like the shirts, and the only one I really have issue with is the peanut butter jelly hamsters. So, to thematically move on to the next item, these are the Eustace and Shelley slippers. Now, these, obviously, they're a set, <clears throat> let me just check, I've got the website... So the Eustace and Shelley slippers are $25. I'm just rounding up. I'm just rounding up. Um, and these I purchased in a size adult small because I have tiny feet. I'm like a size four. So um, this is the Shelley one. And this um, stayed white for as long as 
you can imagine something staying white in a house where there are three cats. <clears throat> so not very long at all. Um, there's a little bit of a, a loose thread here on a whisker, but um, that's just happened with, like, like look, look. It's a bit shameful, really, isn't it? But like, look how look. It, it's quite dirty. It is quite dirty. But I have three cats. Um, the other one, the Eustace one, looks perfectly fine. So, like, you know, really, it's 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 the white materials fault. Um, so these fit really well for my foot. Um, <clears throat> as I'm a I'm a I'm a little footed person. So this is my little size four foot. And you can see there's like a bit of room at the front, a bit of room at the back, but that also, also it's got padding. Um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with these like style of novelty slippers with the little, with the little beady base, um, <clears throat> you will know that the soles last for about a week. I got these uh, about a month before Christmas, I think it was, and I've been wearing them pretty much every day since pretty much every day so the soles on them are completely like th there's nothing um there's nothing hard left in there to form a proper and supportive sole um these are not like if you really actually want a proper supportive and warm slipper you need to get a proper pair of like soled slippers um <clears throat> but if you just want something cute that'll keep your feet warmish um, because <clears throat> I live in the north of England and things can get a little bit nippy here. Um, but, uh, these are, uh, well, the, the, they're okay, but, um, the, um, the boiler in my house has ceased working. Um, and it's been snowing, so it's been, like, minus, like, four, minus six at one point. Minus, I think it did get to minus ten somewhere, but not exactly where I live. Um... But yeah, but so our boiler's clapped out, so we have no heating in my house. Like right now, can't see my breath. That's not been the case for the past couple of weeks. So I've actually been sleeping in these, and I'm just I'm putting them back on now because I actually I wear them all the time, all the time. Um, they are like comfortable and cute. You can't like step outside in them because they don't have a proper sole and that's not very um supportive for for your foot so i do have to like not be lazy and change out of the slippers into like a pair of outdoor shoes if i just want to sort of step out the back to put some rubbish in the bin um normally i wear uh flip-flops um flip-flops um as as slippers because i'm normally not concerned about keeping my feet warm um, but it's been a bit, it's been a bit of a harsh winter and it was, it was a well foreseen purchase. Um, let me, now the other slippers, I'll get the picture. Um, so there's the, uh, Eustace and Shelley ones on the website. The other slipper set that, um, Mariah Elizabeth does, which is the same, it's the same price, is the, the, cousin derp and pickle set um so that might be better why is there so much it's cat hair very i'm not surprised um <clears throat> like if you live in a house that's like mine like, you've got a lot of animals and and you might not get around hoovering every day um then like i'd maybe go with the the, the fully colored ones like the 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 Pickle and, and Cousin Derp set rather than the Eustace and Shelley set because the, the Shelley one is going to get dirty very quickly because it's white. Like, if you live in a really clean house, like, go for them because they are the cutest. But, yeah, like, that, it lasted about five minutes in my house before it started to become a little bit grey. And then when you see, like, the wrinkles of fabric where it normally, like, folds and you see, like, the little gleaming white bits in between, I'm like... Oh, I should probably put them in the wash at some point, but it says hand wash only, but I really can't be bothered to clean them. Moving on, the the next item that we shall be reviewing is this, which is the donut pencil case. Now this, right, this is like... Right, so 
to this, I kind of wish I hadn't bought it, to be honest with you, because it doesn't quite look like the one on the website. It's a bit sort of flatter than the one on the website. It is really, really cute. But this this is what this is this is what drives me slightly insane, right? So it's a it's a it's a gla like a pink donut with sprinkles, and um, we can see like there's the donut hole, and we can see the glaze going like that should be an empty hole because it's a donut, and and that drives me ever so slightly mad, um, and and that's the reason why I wish I hadn't bought it. <laughs> And I don't keep anything in it. Like, it's completely empty. Um, like, I don't know what I could keep in it, but, like, it's got this really annoying thing of, like, you've actually really got to, like, pack this to get it to look like it is. Like, this is more like on the website, but then sort of it goes a bit flat again. Um, but this is $15. Now, I, again, I bought it because I really wanted to support Mariah Elizabeth when she launched her new store, which is the Mariah Elizabeth merch store. Um, and I was looking and I was looking between like the pickle pencil case and this one. And I thought this was actually cuter. Um, but this is this is a little bone of contention, a little bone of contention. Now, again, I, I don't think I'm the target audience, but I am a person who has like no commitment so I can like waste money on things like a donut pencil case that I've not actually found a use for um that's like fifteen dollars um on on the website which you know they it's not cheap for a pencil case but it's a really cute pencil case um I have been sidetracked Um, there is something that, like, I think is bad, very bad, of Mariah Elizabeth. Uh, please don't come for me. Um, <clears throat> it's the stationery kit, which is $35. Not going to show on the iPad, but... Um, the the stationery, it, right, it's $35, right, for... A little it's a spiral bound notebook um i hate i hate spiral bound notebooks but it's not like it's not it's it's it, you can tell it's something that's that's really been cheap to print it's something it's cheap stationery um a cheap spiral bound notebook some pencils they're not like specifically art pencils or anything like that they've they've got the characters on it um there's some uh pencil erasers some sticky notes um <clears throat> some paper clips and then the big ticket item is it comes with the the cotton candy cats squishy i just want the squishy um now, $35 is a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a squishy. Realistically, this is a custom squishy job. It's not being mass produced. I'd maybe expect to pay $20 for the squishy. And I'd be a lot happier just paying $20 for the squishy and not spending the remaining 15 on something that I could get in, like, the pound shop. You could probably go to the pound shop and buy a pack of especially in back to school time um like a pack of stationery that includes like a notepad and pencils and rubbers and paper clips and like it would probably have a ruler in it as well something like that so yeah like the, the, it's a ridiculously overpriced item that's generally aimed at a, but it's it's back to school stationery and adults in an office is probably not going to want like the little crappy like spiral bound notebook i hate them i hate them um so yeah i think this is this is something that i do not think is appropriately priced i think she should separate that charge what is an actual realistic amount for that stationery 
and uh, allow people to buy the, the squishy at a reasonable price separated from that because I don't think $35 is a reasonable price for a squishy but if that's what it costs to make then just come out and tell us that um, and that's what I have to say so the next item that I have is this which is the Mariah Elizabeth blanket um, this is still white and the reason for why is I've not allowed myself to use it because I knew I wanted to do this video and I knew this would end up not being white within five minutes of me actually using it. So this has been folded up in a corner very neatly um, for a while now. But this features like a lot of her things. So we've got like rainbows and clouds and the squishy ghost and uh, um, the peanut butter and jelly hamsters and the chick and duck and the koala thingy and this little donut thing. And there's Picker the Dinosaur, so there's lots of lots of her things on this, um, which is $30. $30 for a, like, we would call them a single bed, I think it's like a twin bed size, um, polyester fleece blanket. Um, and... Like, you know, you would think maybe $30 would be reasonable if... I know this is sounding like I'm sort of slagging her off like a merchandise, but it's paying a lot of money and I want to give people, like, um, you know, like, um, real consumer advice. Um, <clears throat> so, like, if you... Uh, oh, is this going to show up on camera? So if When you bend the fur back in the way it's not supposed to be, you can see, like, the the printing on the blanket is not very deep. Is it going to show on the rainbow a bit? Maybe. See, like, that's not, like, pink all the way down to the base of the blanket. It's just a surface printing. So I do think $30 for a surface printed blanket not the most reasonable of prices however if you want to support Mariah Elizabeth and you want to have something that's got all her cute really like really cute characters on it then this is a great one to get because it's it's really cuddly and soft like it's going to get mucky very very quickly um particularly if you're like me and you have a house that's filled with cats um so yeah it I think it's overpriced for a blanket, but I think it's an appropriate price to support someone whom uh, you, you admire on YouTube if it was printed better. Because, I don't know, I think I think you could maybe get something printed off Redbubble, uh, probably better than, like than that that's a it's a it's not a very um deep amount of color for the the weft of the blanket so now what we have to take a look at is the uh, plush collection so here um is where again i've got a little a little bone to pick a little bone to pick see this is the o G pickle. This is from the first round of pickle plushes. So um, this is pretty much like the blanket. Um, it's printed. So you see, like the little the little spots of colour. The colours are a bit off because that printed over the top of the the green fabric. And then this it's, it might be hard to show up on camera, but it 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 is again not so deep with the green there is like places where you can see the white and the eyes are printed on these are not raised neither is the the little the little nosy things and one arm is slightly higher than the other um and it does have like a bundle of like loose threads here that's not been cut, cut properly so like 
quality control speaking, it may be not the best example. However, this is the OG Pickle. This is not the one that you can buy now. Now, the one that you buy now is $30, and it is made like the Cousin Derp plush, which is these and the facial features are embroidered now they're not embroidered on the OG one it's it's literally just printed but there wasn't really um like like you can see the original listing for this pickle on the ME merch store and the new pickle, which I do not have because I wasn't spending another $30 for the exact same blush. Um, what am I talking about? I've got like 50 Grogu's. Never Ignore me. I want to see a review of the newer pickle compared to the older pickle before I drop another $30 on a plush. Um, that I'm too afraid to hug because it was quite expensive. I don't want to get it dirty. Now, the Cousin Derp plush, which is from the new wave, so it's got, like, this embroidered tummy bit, and he's got the embroidered eyes, and the embroidered face, and he's got a little loose bit of knot thread there, but, like, seriously, someone just needs to come along and, like, snip these with some little, like, sharp scissors and quality control, yay. And it's got, like, a little loose thread here, just, like, a little loose, loose thread on his bum bum. Um... But he is way, way better than the OG Pickle one for all of those reasons. Because he's got, like, the, the embroidered eyes look much better than the printed eyes. The quality of the material is much better. The um, the embroidery is just... It's better. It's be this is the better plush, comparing it to the OG Pickle plush. But I don't have a new version of the Pickle plush to compare to... Cousin Derp, and I didn't want to get the burger because I thought it was stupid. Um, but then, of course, we've got the Georgie plush. Now, the Georgie plush has been like the new Cousin Derp one. Um, so there's Georgie, the pineapple duck. Now, this, again, so it's made like the, the new style one. Um, the quality of the fabric is better. It does have a loose thread on his leg, so quality control there. Um... He's got some like little loose threadies on his mouth. Nothing, nothing major. Um, nothing that would stop him being like also oh, cute because he's a little duck that's also a pineapple, and his name is Georgie. Um, this is my favourite of 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 the plushes. Now these are all, apart from this one, the one very similar to this. Yours won't have a little tag, and yours won't come in a custom box that my cat sits in now. Um, all of these plushes on the website are $30, um, but you can get the three of them in a bundle and save a bit of money. You can imagine how annoyed I was, having paid all of the money for all of the plushes, and then, oh, look, it's a bundle for the people who didn't want them enough the first time. Um, so, yeah, the... Of all of Mariah Elizabeth's merch, the plushes, I think, are really her best merchandise ideas because her characters are so cute and they just so naturally lend themselves to being plushies or squishies. Like, honestly, um, I don't know why she did the donut. I think she said in a video herself when she was introducing that line of merch that she was like... I, I didn't know what to do, so I did a donut because it was cute. But, like, really, I think all of her merch going forward should be stuff like this. It's, like, more character-based. Like, the, the, the stationery set, which I... like. It's, like, it's like these aren't, like, cute-shaped erasers. These are just, like, white erasers with, a, with a, like, a sticky, like, sticky picture stuck to it. Like you would get at the pound shop, like, with, like, some Spongebob erasers or something so I think that that is very overpriced but these I think are absolutely just amazing and I do not regret at all buying all three of them even though I'm a little bit scared to hug them too much because they were so expensive um but yeah like these um 
if you are a fan of hers, I think this is the essential merch that that you want. Like, I mean, you could spend twenty dollars on a t shirt, or you could spend an extra ten and and get cousin Derp, who is like really, really adorable. Or you could spend five dollars more and get the blanket. You know, like use your head. Like who really wants to do that unless you're a bit like me and a little bit obsessed and, and you have to have all of the things. Um so the the slippers I the 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 slippers uh, I recommend if you're a fan, uh, they are like novelty slippers, so they're not very supportive, but they are quite warm and they're cute. And again, over the um, the, the dirt issue I have spoken. Um, so that is my recommendation. If you're a fan of Mariah Elizabeth and you want her merch line, then uh, these. These are the guys that you want to invest in.